here we looked at a drug called enzalutamide, which we know prolongs the survival of men with castration resistant disease, where patients are put on testosterone suppression, their PSA gets up and they get goes up and then they get put on new therapies like enzalutamide. Here we show taking the enzalutamide back to when they're starting their testosterone suppression, patients can live longer and have a longer time to progression and basically their outlook is better by using that therapy in the advanced setting and bringing it to the frontline setting. So I talk about we're moving forward by going backwards in the disease setting where the disease is more sensitive and responds better to therapy. We also know that some patients have a standard of care where they have a benefit from docetaxel out of the testosterone suppression. So we have a group of patients who get enzalutamide with the docetaxel. We see their time to progression is delayed, but we don't see in this early analysis that their overall survival is improved. We need longer follow-up. And the reason why it may not be improved is because they get good disease control with the ADT and the docetaxel. Their PSA goes down, they stay on the testosterone suppression, the PSA goes up, and then patients can possibly get salvaged with adding the enzalutamide. Not everyone is a candidate for chemotherapy, so I break it down into this. If a patient presents, I look at their disease volume, how, what their prognosis is, and are they fit for chemotherapy? And if they are a patient who is high volume and fit for chemotherapy, I'll offer them ADT in the docetaxel, or ADT, enzalutamide, abiraterone, apalutamide, their choice, and I'll go through the risks and the benefits. The risks of the docetaxel are clear, but it's done in 18 weeks, and you can have a long time off treatment if you go that approach. Whereas you could be on these pills with the side effects that we talked about for three years or longer before you may need them. So I let the patient help me make a decision what's the right decision for them. If they're not chemo fit and they have a low burden of disease, any of the hormones with the testosterone suppression are a very reasonable choice. The right agent depending on what other illnesses they have. If they're diabetic, you'd probably want to avoid the abiraterone or the prednisone. If they have a seizure, we have to avoid the enzalutamide or the apalutamide.